I'm terrified. Oh, so we should now be recording. Uh, okay, hi, welcome to the IPFS Docs and Developer Working Group meeting. Uh, today is Monday, the 16th of March, 2020. Hope everyone's doing well. Um, so I might as well just jump into it. You can see my screen here. So we just run through the agenda notes that we've got going on. Um, if those in the meeting, uh, if you could just add your name to the participants list at the top, that'd be lovely. Um, cool. So I'll just jump into things. So first off, uh, the OKR for Docs content creation and improvement. So we've had three mergers coming recently. So BitSwap, IPNS, and LibP2P. A few of these have been sat in the PR list for a while now, just getting some further reviews on them and things like that. Uh, they've all now been merged in, which is great. Uh, so they've also all come from uh, contributors out in the wild, which has been excellent to work with those guys. Uh, so thank you very much. Next up, we've got another couple of branches that are currently being worked on. And I just wanted to explain what's, what's going on with those two. So the first one is websites on IPFS. So this is essentially aimed at, um, oops, sorry, <clears throat> I've got a uh, web developers uh, that kind of want to start using um, IPFS. And the whole idea of it is it's going to be a tutorial series that walks people through sort of first up setting an initial, um, just a single page website or a static website, then so I swear it's not Corona. It's just I choking on water. Um, <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's going to be walking through web developers. And so you start out with a single static page website and you kind of go through more complex things. You get to multi-page sites with, you know, external assets and then you move on eventually to hosting stuff on like Cloudflare or using a gateway or something like that. So you can actually start using IPFS as more of a, a regular service as rather than just like a niche sort of thing. Um, this has come up because a lot of people kind of hit IPFS and don't really know what to do with it. There's, there's a lot of website based stuff we already have, but it's kind of all over the place and there's no sort of real guiding force to it. Um, so that's that branch. Uh, and then the basics branch, um, this kind of came out of a brainstorm I had uh, a couple of weeks ago. We have, again, we have a lot of content on the docs, which is really cool and kind of talked about various different things like BitSwap and IPNS. But what we don't have is why IPFS exists. Like we don't really explain the problem that IPFS is actually trying to address very well. Um, so that's what the, the basics branch is attempting to do. So I'll go through these are the problems that IPFS, or these are the problems that we have with uh, the website on the, the industry as a whole. Um, this is how IPFS addresses those and then sort of gets into the more sort of technical. This is exactly how it addresses those in, in terms of like what BitSwap does and then like why CIDs are useful and things like that. Um, so that's what those two branches are. Um, Can I add some notes? Yeah, go ahead. Um, so those two things actually end up really closely aligning with um, two groups of stuff in the ecosystem audit recommendations. Um, and they, as far as I know, are sitting in the top 20. Um, I'm looking at the top 20 of those recommendations um, because a lot of these things, like about 10 of those are fix the repos. So um, that ends up sort of being, so, so if you look at the top 10, it's really the top 20 at this point in time. Um, there's um, definitely was ranking really high just based on like the math of who gets affected by it. The host a static site guidance um, ranks real high on that list. So um, yay, um, yeah, this is something that I think is speaking quite highly to both of our um, mindsets right now, which is super sweet. Uh, the other thing you were talking about the basics branch, um, as you start working on that, there's two, Specifically, uh, they're, they're a little bit fine-grained, and, and sorry, I should have looked at these notes before the meeting to actually link directly to these. I'll find them and send them to you. But um, we've got the very high-level usage ideas and examples um, document for IPFS that is like being clamored for in the forums and so forth. And Dietrich, that was something I think that was on your list of folks people wanted. Um, so there was this sort of very high level usage ideas and examples doc. And then there was also, we talked about this, Johnny, right before you joined, but the how can IPFS help me with thing, where thing is basically the, the um, 11 core goals, I want to say 11, um, like how can IPFS help me avoid 
evil governments or how can IPFS help me with um, data provenance? Um, so, so do you think that those two goals, I mean, maybe not in the first thing that you're working on right now, but um, I see all of those as sort of being part and parcel of the sort of like dip your toes in IPFS while the piranhas drag you under kind of thing. Sorry, that was a really unsavory metaphor. <laughs> oh, excellent metaphor. I think the best other metaphor you could use. Yeah, no, that's okay. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, if you could, if you could link to those things later. Yeah, be, I will excellent. do. I will do. Um, and then I also have another audit thing, a um, little bit further down the list that I'll bring up when you get further down the list. Cool, cool. Then, cool. Yeah, let's for just those items though, like the core goals. Those core goals should absolutely inform the the documentation for the for the basics branch. Yeah. The uh, this is one of the challenges, and I feel like this this big experience might be might need to be like the the one ring that rules them all in terms of where we point people who are like, yeah. but why 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 IPFS? Because we still get that question really really a lot, and there's no pointing them to the website homepages. Just... Oh, up, up, Dietrich's in his Dietrich gets Florida pauses now. <laughs> yeah, Florida pause. Oh well, yeah, no, you're right. Uh, I mean, my idea is with the basic branch right at the moment was. Uh, like the first initial page, I want to be able to send my mother to that page and be like, "Hey, mom, this is this is what we do. This is what, what we're I doing do here." For a living. Yeah, um, yeah. So that's the that's the point of that. It actually stemmed from that from a call that I had with my mother. Um, so thank you, mom. Um, cool. Okay. Yeah, just uh, just a, a question of I'm looking at this the the list going down though. Is this listed? In, these are all OKRs for Q1. These ones that have OKR as the prefix. I think. Uh, you these were all these were all Q1 OKRs, um, and I think we're starting to hit the point where the work you're doing on these is starting to become Q2 OKRs. Am I right? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, exactly. I've not actually written the OKRs out yet um, for Q2 and onwards, but yeah, it's going to be based on okay. a lot of these. That that's on my head. I set up the format of this meeting based on Q1 OKRs, and now yeah, no, no, I I, I love that the that the set of things, the top level discussion yeah. is OKRs. It's, it's yep. fucking fantastic. It's great. Oh, excuse my language. This being recorded. Stop your fucking swearing. Oh, gonna have to. I'm gonna have to edit this now, Dietrich. Oh, wow. <laughs> on a Windows machine as well. Oh, chaos. Okay, cool. Um, are we are we good to move on to the next one? Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'll find that other. Um. One one thing real quick though. Um. The links I'm throwing through to the canny recommendations. Um. They're real rough right now. And one of the things I want to do today is rewrite all of those canny recommendations in like human readable ways where humans are not living inside my brain. So um, don't don't worry right now. They're really really bleeping vague, and they'll get better. Cool. See, that's how you swear on one of these calls, teacher. Oh, you know. Uh, cool. Okay. I'll just uh, quickly move to the army of contributors. This is essentially on hold because of the last point that I'll get to later. Essentially, it's about Go IPFS 0.5 release. Uh, we're halfway through March anyway, so we got about two more weeks left of this uh, this quarter. So that that project's kind of just getting put on pause. There are people still out there that we're working with, but I'm not actively giving them anything to work on right now until the start of the next quarter. Um, cool. Uh, docs issue triage. The only main doc that we have was issue 465, um, which I think came from Hector. And that was essentially about installing IPFS should be the main thing. On I'm going to respectfully disagree with some of what Hector says on that one. Um, we were saying this in a public call. Um, he was saying this from a very developer centric viewpoint. And um, I know one of the things that we had identified again, with the audit recommendations, let's all bold face this, um, is um, we wanted to do this very sort of visually based, flowchart based, Johnny, you and I talked about this ages ago, flowchart based guide to what flavor IPFS do I need? And if we do that document correctly, that will suffice both for um, your mom and developers who just want to install IPFS because I think Hector was really saying that this needed to be like command line first and I think if we if we can get them very very quickly off the bat to make a decision and then not have to see you know so your mom is never going to have to see like code blocks and the developer is never going to have to read your mom instructions right off the bat um so but I think a lot of his guidance is, is very, very good in terms of shuttling developers to the right place with a lot of, without a lot of noise. And we were probably trading too far in the other direction. I think we just need to be really careful about how we branch this and like branch people early. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, it absolutely does. Um, and can, I mean, this is what, 
like incredible sort of documentation websites. Uh, I won't name any right now, but like really, really good ones do this really, really well on the homepage. They kind of funnel people into, exactly. oh, you're a dev or, oh no, you're the writer's mom. Okay. I almost see this as being like, cause, cause remember we get, we can have like a pretty splash page as it were on that uh, view press site. And we could even make that the entry point on that. I know one of the recommendations was to investigate sort of whether one of the audit recommendations is to investigate whether the IPFS site and the doc site live together in one big mashup harmony. Um, and that may sort of impact that. We can talk about that later, but um, um, gosh, what was it? crud, I'm sorry. I am so sorry. Oh, Agata, you can, you can enlist, you can enlist Agata to do this. Um, if you want to just like back of the envelope, sketch out anything you want for a tree, you, you have resources for, for getting that drawn into something that's like stunningly visually beautiful yeah yeah I, that'd be ideal um and yeah like you mentioned uh last week that yeah the ipfs site itself is in dire need of fixing various different things which i'm completely on board with as well like, i'd like to use that as the main jumping off platform for a lot of people yeah this is a question um and again this is another another one of the audit recommendations and i'll add this to the notes do we roll in the dist.ipfs.io site into either docs or main ipfs.io um because if we if we do this installing page tree thing well um this will basically be to some degree a replacement for dist dot yeah i i'm I'm reading through this page now, and I can see what Hector means yeah like that yeah, i i like I like your your branch early jessica like if you're if you're a developer if you're not a developer, and I think for the non developer like desktop has to be the number one because companion is useless without desktop it doesn't have yeah. i mean maybe we just say right off the bat, you know. Do you want to do you want to build with IPFS or do you want to use IPFS? Like maybe that's like the first thing you know. Click this button. That then, early fork sounds yeah. Sound, like I think that would alleviate all of the Hector concerns here, which are, are pretty valid. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean everything he's saying. If you're a developer, everything you're is, he's saying yeah. is completely legit. Yeah. If you're, I think all this stuff, it's all the right stuff, and he's only commenting on the order, really. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, and we were just trying to roll it all into one largely text-based page in initial launch. Um, realizing we were going to have to come back to this later um now might be later yeah cool yeah I, it seems like it seems like a, 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 a not a big fix but i like i'm totally down with the that's the big install button on the top of a page above the fold always works the nice thing is that all of these things um all of these things are in my top 20 recommendations so nice i mean one of the things that is um kind of special with ipfs is if you have an install button for ipfs what what are you installing like, <laughs> are you doing the desktop are you doing the browser are you using the, the ipfs daemon are you doing something completely different like we have so many things really but but ultimately we don't like that's and that's what i think that is kind of the point like what what people are like understanding what people's needs are is is, is really important and i think what with the inkling that we have so far, and I don't think we we've have enough research or enough different like AB pages to be able to tell that story well. But if you're a developer, like from for most statistically for most developers, it's going to be the npm link. Like, and for if you're a, if you're a developer who's not a JavaScript developer, then it's the Go daemon, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But everybody else is going to be desktop. And if you have if you want companion. It's only because you already have desktop and yeah. really like this is that redesign of companion that we talked about in Brooklyn, Jessica, like Indeed. there's really no point in having companion if yeah. you don't have desktop. It is a prerequisite. Well, but maybe this is, I mean, maybe this is sort of a, or a, or a driver. Maybe this is a high level goal for the whole, for the whole product eyes, IPFS spectrum is, you know, presenting this in such a way that like theoretically at least a download button is meaningful. Yeah, I, I would, I would love, I would love to see that. So I think, that, I, th I think there's a lower, like uh, the lower bar we get hit pretty early and quick just by. Reading. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think, I think, I but think I that level, yeah. that stuff that's going to be, you know, if if I get to shuttle myself off on on product work in Q2, Q3, then this is going to be a very different conversation in Q2, Q3. But I think, I think creating this branch flowcharty install IPFS page can happen 
I, oh, right. I, think, I think it'd be fantastic. Uh, all right. Just can't make it like the like the 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 Java install page. I, yeah. <laughs> What do you mean? I, That's the height of US. That's what are you talking your about? NPM statement. Because, like, you know, I use yarn because it's got a kitty. Them's fine words, Dietrich. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nice. Yarn. See, what, what we could do, we could just use media queries to figure out if the reader <laughs> is, is using a dark theme on their computer. And then if they are, then we just assume that they're a developer. And then <laughs> so we're fine. <laughs> those assumptions right off the bat. That's, that's okay, like, cool. like some form of redlining, and I, I, I haven't had enough coffee yet to like figure out how to make what I was about to say appropriately offensive enough. Um. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, we should probably move on quickly if that's okay. Yep. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Based on time, not 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 anything that anyone said. Yep. Um, cool. Um, so contributor guidelines reference to. Have I? I didn't miss anything out there, did I? No. I didn't. Yeah, so finalizing code persona, that's all ready to go. Uh, and then a blog post and an example tutorial to go along with it, just to explain what this is, why it's useful, uh, and then kind of how to use it. So some examples of like, this is the main purpose that we've got. Um, we're going down, we had a discussion for those um, that aren't at Protocol Labs. Um, we had a discussion internally about what um, the, the examples and use cases we could pick from. We're generally going down the idea of planets, because it keeps up with the interplanetary sort of feeling of things. Uh, so that's basically where everything's going to come around. But you'll be able to see in the tutorials coming out this week um, how that works, how to create examples and use cases from, from that batch of major projects. So that'd be cool. I am um, so excited about that. I'm so psyched. <laughs> I've had a lot of fun learning about planets. Um, in fact, you know what? As a little bit of a spoiler, why not? If you go to, I, was, I had lots of fun this week. Uh, or last week rather, what is it? Random Planet Facts. So I bought this domain for $4, random planet facts.xyz. But then I was like, let's just, you know, decentralize everything. So if you go to eth.link, this is a decentralized version of Random <laughs> Planet Facts. <laughs> so just I was really excited. So I, I essentially went on, on Wikipedia Ooh. and asked people for random facts and things. And Thank you for not masking the domain redirect because I can see that you're hosting the Sun Pinata. Exactly, that's right. Yeah, uh, that's going to get addressed later, though. Um, but yeah, that was that's a spoiler of what's coming up in the tutorial. I'm very excited. Eat. Um, and aren't you really look at look how good my UX is? Look, this is there's like seven things with the CSS. You don't need contemplated style sheets. You don't need to use Bootstrap anymore. You can just use like <laughs> CSS. It's excellent. <laughs> okay, cool. Dude, it's not in Comic Sans. I'm disappointed. Don't, no, <laughs> don't, don't. But that would have required me to like import a font, and then it would have been huge. Yeah. Oh, would have been a mess. Yeah. Um, cool. So yeah, that's that. Yeah. What's uh, what's the lighthouse you... score for this site? <laughs> Zero. It's probably amazing. <laughs> it doesn't pull in it's anything. A... Well, I was thinking it's it's going to be on IPFS. So it's going to be like pretty. It's going to be slower than regular websites already. So I want to keep it as small as possible. Um, so yeah, that was my, my thinking for that. Uh, anyway, so get, lastly, sorry, any more questions about uh, my incredible <laughs> website skills? I'm excited. Just, just, just anxiously waiting. <laughs> cool. Okay, lastly, uh, non-OKR gender items. So go IPFS. Um, that's getting released very shortly in the next few weeks. Um, and I found out very recently, last week, in fact, that there's a substantial amount of documentation that needs to be written for this release. Um, it's not huge. It's, it's not really over the docs teams like issues. It's, it's likely going to all get done, which is fine. But it does mean that it's kind of overshadowing some of the OKRs that we have that are sort of P2s. Um, so this has come in. These are the, essentially the five main sections that I that we need to write docs about. So IPNS, IPFS, gate domain, subdomain, gateway, things like that. No discoverability. This one's been quite fun because it means that I've been actively breaking my router, which is sat behind me to figure out how to do no discoverability. So it overheated on Tuesday last week. That was fun. Um, but yeah, um, so that's kind of popped up. Um, so it's shifting a lot of my focus for, so for the next week or so. I'm gonna be doing a lot of sort of 0.5 release documentation. But once that's done, we should be all good to go. Um, nice. Any questions about that? I, ha I had a question. The, yeah, go ahead. So this 
five at least this documentation will by 0.5 time and i wonder uh if it's possible for us to do the reshuffling of the beta docs install page 0.5 as well uh even if it's just tr just drop that that developer install part at the top so that people who end up at the docs beta site because of 0.5 or 0.5 related communications get that yeah. install prompt at the very top of the page instead of getting companion first or explainers first at the top Here's, okay Here's a thought, Johnny, what if, what if we, cause like, I think Hector took offense to the H2 that said dip your toes in decentralized waters. I think if we just made the H2s um, build, like the first H2 would be like build stuff on IPFS and then we put all the Debbie stuff there. And then the second H2 would just be use IPFS yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> for, for, storage, for storing and sharing files. And then I think that would be like, like a 15 minute change if you're down with that. Yeah, that that kind of address things for for now because I mean I am yeah. trying to keep in mind that we're kind of running low on time. We got about two weeks until the end of end of this month. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, so yeah, to make to make it that easy, we could definitely do something like that. Um, okay. Cool. Uh, all right, cool. Any other points to bring up, guys? This is awesome. Yeah, cool. this looks great. Um, the Separating the only other thought I had was around getting a little getting ahead of two weeks from now and having an eye towards what of this stuff should be explicitly start marked Q2 uh, and then also what are the next set of things that are in the backlog for Q2 OKRs. Yeah. Okay, yeah, um, I can focus on that as well at some point this week. Um, actually, like writing out the OKRs for the rest of the year, but, really. Uh, honest, all, yeah, all the 0.5 stuff that. takes precedent probably over everything, but this is right. more like in the in the back of your head of these things that we're shifting off to, to prioritize 0.5, probably over, over anything here, 0.5 should be top. Um, yeah. I'd say feel free even just to get that stuff that is in blinders on for the rest of the stuff mm -hmm. until the 0.5 stuff is up and ready to go and then we can figure out the next step. Cool, well, I mean, one thing I'm keeping in my mind as well, I'm because I think the 0.5 team are gonna be doing a code freeze at some point soon. Uh, and developers are really, really good at pushing in things with like two days before release going, oh, you need to write about this now. So I'm just keeping my heart for that. All developers yeah. do it, even if they say they don't, they do. Yeah. 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 It's like we've all, we've all been through this before. It's <laughs> like we know what they're going to do. <laughs> the creeping feature creature. Ah, exactly. Okay, cool. I'm going to um, stop recording now. Uh, if I can find the button that stops the recording. <laughs>